Hindi ni Samantha inaasahan na magsasalita pa ito, kaya hindi niya narinig ang tanong. When was your last visit with your ENT doctor? Doctor? Why do I need to visit the doctor? Confused yung tanong. Because I am beginning to think that you have hearing problems. He answered na nagpakunot ng todo sa noo niya. He looked at her direction while sitting a smile. Automatic na umangat ang kilay niya, pero hindi dahil nasusungitan siya bagkos to prevent herself from appreciating her gorgeous company even more. I was asking you kung bakit hindi ka nag-aaral mag-drive. Ulit ni Liam na tanong sa kanya. Ayoko mag-drive? Sagot lang ni Samantha. Driving your own car gives you freedom, Samantha. You don't need anyone to take you to places you want. Is that even applicable to me? Freedom to go places I like? Ayaw ni Samantha ang inisinto or ano, but did he realize what he said? Yung di pa nga lang makauwi sa oras, galit na galit na to. Ano pa yung magdadrive siya ng sarili niyang sasakyan? Dito mo gone si Liam. Gusto ni Samantha ang pagsisihan ang sinagot niya. Did she provoke him again? Samantha averted her gaze once more as she braced herself for another argument with Liam. Have I been hard on you, Samantha? Liam asked after a few minutes na akala niya hindi na ito magsasalita. Napalingon siya rito. Nakatutok lang sa daan ng atensyon nito at malumanay naman ang tono. When she did not find her voice to answer his question, he cast her a glance and continued, I'm sorry if you felt like a prisoner all these years. Liam was apologizing? Katapusan na ba ng mundo? Di makapaniwala sa Samantha. Napatingin namang siya sa kasama na nasa daan na ulit ang atensyon. What? Cat got your tongue? Tanong nitong panakanaka siyang sinusulipan. I'm not sure if I heard you right. Sagot niyang nasa mukha ang hindi pagkapaniwala kay Liam. I think I really need to tell Minerva to schedule you a visit to your ENT doctor. Napapailing pero natatawang wika ni Liam. I'm not deaf, Liam. Pagtatanggol niya sa sarili. Di lang ako sigurado. This is not you. Aren't you always mad at me? Bakit ka nagsasorry? What do you remember of me when you were young, Samantha? With that question, Samantha's mind automatically wandered to 16 years ago. Hindi ako galit sa'yo. Patuloy ni Liam nang hindi siya sumagot. Hindi kita aalagaan ng mahawang panahon kung galit ako. She let him talk habang nasa karaan ng utak niya. Remembering how he used to be a sweet big brother to her. Dahil para siyang anak ng ate niya. Lagi siyang bitbit whenever she was on a date with Liam. Kaya alam ni Samantha ang good qualities ng lalaki. Na inahanap niya ngayong nagkita na sila ulit makalipas ang maraming taon. Just now though, Liam showed her his gentle version and his smile. Bagamat totoong ngiti, alam ni Samantha na hindi pa rin yun katulad ng dati. What I'm trying to say is, I've pondered over the things that you told me the other day, and I realized I've been a total jerk to you. Would you accept my apology? I don't want us to fight again. Marahan ni Liam na dagdag. What about the an- She was about to raise the annulment again, but she remembered Uncle Danny's words. Maybe not now is the right time to talk about it. Are you sure about it? She asked instead. I guess we can do some adjustments with our current setup, but I have to apologize to you in advance that I cannot let the public know about you yet. Liam said, Don't let anyone know. Mabilis nang sabing nagpakunot ng noon ni Liam. Is it that bad to be my wife, Samantha? No, I mean, I'm fine with keeping our relationship a secret. I don't want any unnecessary attention on me, if you know what I mean. Are you seeing someone? What? Are you dating? He rephrased his question. No, of course not. Mariing tanggay na Samantha. I just... I just don't want to disrespect my sister, if you know what I mean. I get what you mean. He got her. Uh, well, thanks. Aniya na tulad nito'y sa unahan tinutok ang atensyon. Siguro nga nakuha naman itong ibig niyang sabihin. To be fair with Liam, he did try to make her life easier after that. Sa opisina, hindi na siya ni Liam sinisigawan. Kapag may palpak siya, kahit iritable ito, hindi na lang nito pinapalaking issue. Instead, he would try to teach her how things must be done. At na-appreciate ni Samantha ang ginawa nitong adjustment. Kaya ginantihan naman niya iyon by trying her best at work. Do you have plans for tonight? He asked one time when it's almost time to go home. Auntie Minerva and I are baking some cookies. Why? Ganting tanong ni Samantha habang kinukuha sa mesa nito ang files na iniutos itong ayusin niya. What are you baking the cookies for? It is my birthday this Saturday. I've started this tradition to bake cookies for the street children. Sabi niyang may konting ite sa labi niya. She was not looking at Liam kaya hindi niya nakita ang mataman nitong tingin sa kanya. Since when have you been doing that? Since my first birthday without my family? 
Si Auntie Minerva ang nagsuggest sa akin to celebrate my birthday another way if it saddens me to celebrate alone. Kaya, yun. Kilip-kip ni Samantha ang folder at saka tamingin dito. Why are you asking? Uuwi ako mamaya. Sababay ka na sa akin. He said, returning his attention on his laptop screen. Oh, so shall I phone Uncle Danny? I already told him. Okay then. She shrugged her shoulders and left his office. Sa totoo lang, mas okay nga na hindi sila nag-aaway. As for his going home, ganun pa rin. Hindi madalas, in fact. Ito na lang ulit ang unang beses na uuwi ito. After nilang mag-usap nung nakaraang weekend. Pagbalik sa pwesto ni Samantha, wala nang dalawa niyang kasama. But surprise! Merong iniwang trabaho ang mga ito sa kanya. On her table were documents that needed to be encoded right away. Inis na napatingin siya sa orasan. Daig talaga ng mga itong kidlat sa bilis na makaalis kapag pumatak na sa uwian ng relo at wala namang uto si Liam. She sighed and opened her computer. Wala pa naman si Liam kaya susubukan niya mag-encode ng mabilisan sa abot ng mahakaya. Her eyes flew to the man who was leaning against the glass divider. Do you plan to make me wait for you? But her fingers continued to type swiftly on her keyboard. I was told you need these documents tomorrow. Anya bago ibalik sa ginagawa ang atensyon. Just go ahead, Mr. Dutos. I'll just book myself a ride. Konti ni lang naman kasi. Kung ipagpapabukas pa niya, dagdag lamang iyon sa property schedule na nagagawin. Mr. Dutos, ha? Huh? Liam said in amusement. When it's just the two of us, you don't need to undress me like that. How do you like to be addressed then, Kuya Liam? He frowned tapos nawala ang munting iti sa labi nito. The last time you said I could pass to be your father. Now you want me to be your sibling? May bahid ng annoyance ang tingin ni Liam nang maling magsalita. How much time do you still need to finish that? Seryosong dagdag ni Liam bago ni Samantha makasagot sa komento nito. Probably 10 minutes. Pwede ka naman mauna. Giit ni Samantha. Pero actually, kinabahan siya ng slight nang sumaryoso itong bigla. Hindi siya namimiss ng supladong Liam. Promise. Call me when you're done. With that, he returned to his office. Did she offend him? Binilisan ni Samantha ang ginagawa para lang di madagdagan ang aritasyon ni Liam sa kanya. At exactly 6pm, kinatok niya na ito sa opisina nito. He was on the phone at sinenyasan lang siya na maghintay. Alright, I'll see you on Monday. Sabi nito sa kausap bago tinapos ang tawag at pinalingan siya. Are you done? Yup, okay. Let's go then. Nagpatiwa na ito. She followed behind him quietly like a secretary to her boss. Yun lang ang naging advantage na ginawa siya nitong assistant. Pwede siyang makita ng iba na kasama ito at iisipin lamang na trabaho ang dahilan. But it wasn't like the CEO was visible to his employees anyway. Maging ang elevator kasi nito privado. She still did not understand why he had to be so mysterious. Pero hahaya na lamang niya. Maybe he only wanted the private and quiet life. Liam did not talk to her for most of the drive. Batong bato si Samantha pero maigi na rin. At baka kung sana naman mapunta ang usapan nila. Malapit na nga sila sa bahay na magsalita ito. So, where do you usually give out the cookies? Sa mga busy streets. Sa maraming street children. Tapos hanggang sa maubusan nilang kami. Sabi ni Samantha na nakangiti. But on Saturday, I'm planning to visit an orphanage. I just learned of this one na kumukup-kup sa mga batang ulila ng lubos. So, iniisip ko, namin ni Ate Minerva, if I can celebrate my birthday there ng bandang hapon, patuloy niya. Looks like you will have a busy day. Komento nito. Yeah, di niya itinago ang excitement. It's a short notice pero sana ma-approve ng orphanage. It's for the kids naman. I'd be buying them stuff. Toys also if I can get off from work early on Friday. Tumawa siya ng bahagya. Nagpaparinig ako, sir. Aniya pang biro. Baka you can free me up sa hapon. Sure. File for a leave tomorrow. Don't come to work on Friday. Totoo? Tuwang-tuwang tanong ni Samantha. Mm-hmm. Consider it as my birthday gift to you. Not looking at her kasi papasok na sila sa gate ng monsoon. Thank you so much. Totoo ang gratitude na saan ni Samantha. Don't worry. You will have a part in my charity. Para mo naman yung gagasusin ko. She chuckled lightly. Samantha, whatever I'm giving you is yours. Huwag mong tipirin ang sarili mo kasi iniisip mo na pera ko ang pera mo. No, Samantha. Once it's in your account, it's already yours. About that, could you stop making a deposit in my account? I already have so much at saka nagtatrabaho na ako. Although, pera mo pa rin ang sinasahod ko. At least I earn it. But the huge deposits, I did not work for it. Liam sighed as he was parked in the car. 
Why else am I working so hard if my wife doesn't like my money? You know that I never... I don't want you bringing up this topic again in the future, okay? Don't be futile. We have a lot. Pagka sabi naman bumaba na ng kotse, hindi naman to galit sa katunayan parang nai-stress pa nga. Nakaka-stress bang sinabi niya? I did not get her point though. Samantha already felt so heavily indebted to Liam. Gusto lang naman sana niyang wag nang madagdagan pa ang utang niya rito. She sighed and got off as well. Galing kay Liam, lahat ng yan? Di makapaniwala si Samantha. It was already her birthday. Maagang dumating sa mansyon ilang delivery van na naglalaman iba't iba mga supplies para sa orphanage na pupuntahan niya mamaya. Siya ang nalula kasi marami na rin siyang pinamili nung nagdaang araw. Pero at the same time, she felt happier and more excited. Natitiyak niya malaking tulong yan sa orphanage na hindi naman ganun karami yung benefactors. Regalo daw sa'yo ng asawa mo. Nakangiting tura ni Auntie Minerva na kagaya ni Samantha, abala dahil paalis na sila para naman sa pamamahagi nila ng cookies sa mga bat sa lansangan. This time, dinagdagan niya rin ng packed meal mula sa isang sikat na fast food chain. Since Liam told her not to be frugal, she spent huge portion of her savings for her birthday celebration this year. Nagpack sila ng groceries para sa mga less fortunate. Wow, ang dami! Ani ang di pa rin wakapaniwala sa gesture ni Liam. Sabi nito, regalo ito sa kanya ang pag-aproba sa leave niya. He did not say he would give her more gifts today. Miss Samantha, paghihintayin ko na lang ba muna sila hanggang makabalik ka? O gusto mo na silang paunahin sa orphanage? Tanong ta Uncle Danny. Send them ahead, Uncle Danny, para hindi maabala mga delivery staff. Sunod naman po ako agad doon after lunch. Tumangol si Uncle Danny at pinuntahan ng mga deliveries. Sumakay naman si Samantha kasama si Ate Minerva sa van para sa project naman niya sa mga street dwellers. Alam naman niyang konting tulong lang yon and she wished she could do more. Pero hindi naman niya po pwedeng kupkupin lahat ng mga ito gayong siya mismo ay kinupkup lamang din. Thank you for the stuff you sent. I will make sure to let them know that it came from you. Mensahe niya kay Liam but she answered immediately with, No, Samantha, it's from you. Well then, um, if you're not busy tonight, Auntie Minerva will be preparing a little celebration. Just us and the whole house help. That went an answer though. Inayaan na lamang niya. After all, nagbaka sakali lang naman siya. Liam never celebrated with her. Mula dumating siya sa manson. Kaya walang kaso yun. Sanay na siya. But she also had to admit that she felt a little sad. Iba naman kasi ngayon kumpara sa nakarang mga pagkakataon. This time, nakakasama niya na to kahit pa paano. Kalaunan din naman na wala na yun sa isipan niya. Nilunod na siya ng activities niya sa araw na yun. Ang mga masayang mukha ang mga nabuta ni Samantha na ang kanting tulong ay best gift na sa kanya. Napakaraming mas hindi mapalad sa kanya and the experience she had every year made her realize na kahit maaga siyang nawalan ng pamilya, God did not completely made her companionless. There was Auntie Minerva, who became more like a mother to her. Uncle Danny, who was like her father figure. Ang mga kasama niya sa bahay, her friends Serena and Roland, and of course, Liam. She was still blessed and from time to time she realized that hindi na siya nagreklama sa Diyos sa kapalaran niya. After lunch, nasa orphanage na si Samantha. Siya na lang kasi kailan para ni Auntie Minerva na maghanda para naman sa celebration nila sa Manson. Maliit na salo-salo lang naman, sila-sila lang. Kaya ng dati pero mga kaibigan niyang ever busy na hindi makakapunta. It would be nice to have Liam, pero hindi niya to pipilitin kung ayaw nito. Di rin siya nagtagal sa orphanage, so just distributed the gifts. Tuwang-tuwa ang mga bata. For a while, she saw her young self in each one of them. Yung batang siya na walang pamilya. Napakalaking tulong ang dila na morito, Mrs. Estrada. Naway pagpalain ka pang lalo ng Diyos. The in charge told her, Itong business card ko, kung may kailangan pa po kayo, itawagin niyo lang po ako. Sagot ni Samantha na inabot ang calling card niya. Tinanggapin ang kausap niya at saka nihatid siya sa naghihintay niyang sasakyan. 6pm na makabalik siya sa manson. Nandito si Liam? She felt her excitement wash over. She felt that irregular beating of her heart once again. The thought of celebrating her birthday with Liam for the first time in a long while made her happy. Yes, that must be it. Yan ang dahilan kaya bumilis ang tibok ng puso niya. They would usually set up the living room for her small party. It was unusual and napakatahimik. Samantha walked to the dining room. Doy nakita niya si Auntie Minerva Abala sa paganda kasama ng mga kasambahay. Miss Samantha, naiyan ka na pala. Kala ko po nakalimutan yung birthday ko. Biyan Samantha na lumapit para o oh, sisohin ang iluluto ng mga to. Pwede ba naman yun? Pinigilan siya ni Auntie Minerva na lumapit. Halika sa silid mo, magbihis ka at mag-ayos. Kailan pa po ba? Tayo lang naman po. 
Ano yata sa naalala si Liam? Nakita ko yung sasakyan ni Liam, auntie. Is he here? Umalis din. Nagpalit lang ng sasakyan. Sagot na matanda. Ah, nalungkot siya, pat napatango at sinikap na itago yon. Pwede na tong suot ko, auntie. Hindi, magbihis ka. Bili ng asawa mo. Halos kalad ka rin siya nito sa silid niya. Bilin po? Oo. Once inside her room, Samantha easily spotted the huge box on her bed. Naganda pa ito na regalo para sa akin? Auntie, nagabala pa naman po kayo eh. Ano yung attach? Naku, hindi sa amin galing yan. Hindi sana ganyan kalaki. Malapad ang iting tago ni Auntie Minerva. Galing yan kay Mr. De Jos. Buksan mo para makita mo. Di naman si Samantha makapaniwala. Bagamat taon-taon na may may regalo ito sa kanya. She felt that this year was special. Lalo't dahil ito ang nagdala ng regalo. Kahit pa hindi nito yung personal na iniabot sa kanya. Lumapit si Samantha sa kama niya at maingat na ibinuksan ang kumikinang ng mga palamuti sa ng kulay peach gown. Needless to say, it was a designer's gown at a glance. May paras na yun ang mga pampaa. Maligo ka at suotin mo to. Maya maya babalikan kita kapag handa ng lahat. Nakangiting sabi ni Auntie Minerva. Susuotin ko to ngayon? Auntie, wala pa naman tayong mga bisita. Sayang naman. Huwag na lang po. Tanggi naman ni Samantha na tinakpan pa ulit ang damit. Wala nga, pero unang bes magdiriwang ka ng arawan na nalalito si Mr. Duchos. Mas malaki ang iting pahayag pa na matanda. Now go! Ayusin mo ang sarili mo. She felt that excitement again. Surely, tonight was going to be special. Nakapagbihis na si Samantha. Habang nakatayin siya sa salamin, di siya makapaniwala sa babaeng tumitig sa kanya pabalik. She had never worn anything fancy before. Kahit naman kasi lumaki siya sa guardianship ng bilyonaryo, she kept a lonely life. Everything was Liam's. Ngayon, pumayag siya magbihis dahil unang-una, Liam said so. For a while, she returned to the old Samantha who wanted to please him. Ay, ito ang i-disappoint, not tonight. I really look like you, ate. Aniya na matagal ang nakatitig sa salamin. Di naman sa ayaw niya. On another occasion, she would be ecstatic to have grown resembling the sister she adored so much. Kaso her face would keep reminding Liam about Nikki. Samantha heaved a sigh. Bagay pa rin naman sa suot niya. In fact, revealing her slender neck added to her pleasing appearance. Inayos na lang niya ang konting buhok na iniwan nang may kumatok. Come in! Sabi niya expecting it to be Auntie Minerva. Auntie, look at me! Doesn't this dress fit me well? She asked while picking up something from her vanity drawer. It sure does. Tatlong salita, pero nagpatigal sa mundo ni Samantha.